All right, six minutes after nine o'clock, it is time for Veterans News and Gary Pascal sitting in the captain's seat. Good morning, Gary. How you doing? Good morning, Larry. Good morning, listeners and fellow veterans out there. Um, beautiful day in Ocala, and of course today's the day that the wall's coming in. Got a couple guests with me, uh, my Legion brothers, uh, Brian Vogue and Chip Rich, uh, who we're going to hear from in just a little bit. Um, we do have some casualties to report, unfortunately, um, in the area of law enforcement. And so I want to go ahead and do that first. We have Sergeant Kent Swanson of the Shelley Police Department in Shelley, Ohio. His end of watch was Monday, May the 21st. And we have Police Officer Arian Williams of the Monroe Police Department in Monroe, Louisiana. His end of watch was May 21st. And we have Police Officer Thomas Coulter of the Daytona Beach Police Department in Daytona, Florida, very close to home. And we have another very tragic uh, death here, Police Officer Amy Caprio of the Baltimore County Police Department in Baltimore, Maryland. Her end of watch was also on May 21st. Larry, our thoughts and prayers are with the families of um, these officers. And um, can we do Amazing Grace? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but You know, I want to thank um, Mr. Joe Martone and Larry and Robin and all the great folks here at The Source that give us this airtime every week, and it wouldn't be possible without some sponsors, Larry. And those sponsors are Bob Wines, Camilla Gardens, and Nursery. They are bringing you Veterans News, and they've been doing this for a very long time. They are at 2610 Southeast 38th Street here in Ocala. When it comes to landscaping, Bob Wines has what you need. Everything from small plants to large trees, mulch, fertilizer, and so much more. Bob Wines will even deliver, plant, and guarantee their trees. Bob Wines Camellia Gardens and Nursery has been keeping you blooming since 1952. And Bob Wines offers a 10% discount to veterans. Their phone number is 6 629-5766. And Veterans News is also brought to you by Hires Baxley Funeral Services in Highlands Memorial Park. Hires Baxley has had generations of families honor them with their trust and confidence. They believe it's because for the last 128 years, their team of caring professionals have established a reputation of serving families with excellence and compassion. Hires Baxley currently partners with the Boy Scouts of America, Troop Number 72, to properly dispose of decommissioned American flags. They're also a drop-off location for helping cell phones for soldiers, helping to provide minutes that matter, and helping heroes home. Hires Baxley is located at 910 East Silver Springs Boulevard here in Ocala, or you can call them with questions at 352-629-7171. Information is also on their website, hires-baxley.com. Gary? All right, I got a few announcements I want to make here. I mean, a lot of stuff going on, so um, get your pencils ready. And then I'm going to have my guest uh, come on. Uh, I want to thank, though, um, Melanie Hansen and Penny Hatfield of the Paddock Park South community. Um, 
Sunday they had a big fundraiser uh, out there at Paddock Park, despite the terrible weather we had. And this was to benefit um, Vets Helping Vets and uh, people from law enforcement. Um, they did blankets, and um, you know they uh, they collected funds for us and food. And um, we just really appreciate uh, what they did. And um, the the paper labeled these folks as Moms on a Mission. So Moms on a Mission at Paddock Park South. Thank you very much, and God bless you um, for all you do. I also want to uh, point out, and again, get your pencils ready, um, because uh, we've got some things coming up here. Francesco's uh, down in Bellevue and Stonefire Pizza and Pasta Fair Restaurant, also in, vet in uh, Bellevue, are going to have a nice event on Flag Day, uh, which is June 14th, from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, the addresses are uh, 10 401 U.S. Highway 441 for Pasta Fair. And for Francesco's, it's 16770 U.S. 441 in Summerfield. Um, they're going to do uh, part of their proceeds, 15% of, of your total bill, is going to be donated to Veterans Helping Veterans. So, again, that's June 14th. Make sure you eat supper at Francesco's or Pasta Fair and benefit uh, Veterans Helping Veterans. And I also uh, want to let everybody know that our supervisor of elections, Mr. Wesley Wilcox, is doing a um, Veterans Wall of Honor unveiling on May 30th at uh, 12 p.m. If you need more information about this, you can RSVP at out. You can RSVP. I'm sorry. At outreach at votemarion.com. That's outreach at vote. Marion.com, and we want to thank Mr. Wilcox um, for doing that for the veterans. And also, I mentioned it that it's coming in today, uh, but don't forget, all Memorial Day weekend, we have the honor of having the Traveling Vietnam Wall uh, right here in our Veterans Park. Um, there's quite a few events planned. Um, you can contact the Marion County Veterans Service Office at area code 352-671-8422. Don't miss it. Um, you know, it's an honor to have it here, and, um, you know, we want to have a big crowd and and take advantage of all the wonderful um, events that's going to be happening this weekend there. And on Memorial Day, what a fitting, uh, what a fitting uh, time for us to have it in Ocala. All right, Larry, we got time for, to introduce the guests. You, we, we have about a half a minute, and we need to take a break. So why don't we, we take, well take the break? Take the break early, and then when we come <laughs> back, we'll do that. All right, we will be right back. You're listening to the Source W O C A, Ocala. <laughs> Bob Wines Camellia Gardens is pulling out all the stops for its gala pre-Memorial Day sale. Just look anywhere in this huge five and a half acre store for hundreds of truly outstanding buys for your yard or garden. A few examples like fruit plants and fruit trees, starting with blueberries and grapes as low as $9.99 or figs, guavas, bananas, starting at $14.99. Fruit trees include peach, apple, plum, pear, nectarine, mulberry, and more. You get two for $99. And don't forget that azalea sale. Get six semi-dwarf ever-blooming azaleas for only $35.99. Plus, very nice three-inch cactus and other succulents start at just $4.99. Check the ad or go to BobWinesCamelliaGardens.net for a big, long list of all the pre-memorial specials. They're open daily till 4.30, Saturdays till 3. Southeast 38th Street, Ocala, the same blooming place since 1952. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, aisleways, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440. Or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, -E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Gene is a proud United States veteran. Hey, sweetheart, you look upset. I just don't know how we're going to handle everything coming up these next few weeks. Graduation, Father's Day, Natalie's wedding. Tell you what, make a list of all the events and what you want to serve. Then, just call Honey Baked Ham at 861-0011. They'll prepare everything to perfection, and they'll even deliver. Where are they? I may just go by. 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue, just behind Best Buy. I'm going to use Honey Baked Ham for everything. Honey Baked Ham, making every day a special occasion. 
Mondays are usually hard coming back from a weekend and trying to get the week started off on the right foot. Well, that is about to change. R.C. Jones, prophetess and pastor representing Hazon Ministry, will be joining us at 9.20 a.m. each Monday. Hazon Ministry aims to build families through love, power, prayer, and the Word of God. Again, join R.C. Jones and start the week off on a positive note every Monday at 9.20 a.m. right here on The Source, W.O.C.A. All right, 17 minutes after 9 o'clock, let's return to Veterans News with Gary Pascal. Gary? Yeah, I want to introduce uh, my guest uh, from Post 27, you know, uh, Brian and Chip. And I just want to tell you how I got involved in Post 27 real quick. Um, in 2014, we had a stand down, and it was due to Brian's kindness uh, to me at, uh, and Veterans Helping Veterans that I got involved in Post 27. And it's a very family-oriented post, so... Um, Brian, you and you and Chip could uh, talk about Post 27 and all the things we got coming up, and uh, it's all yours, buddy. All right, uh, we have a lot of things going for us lately. My biggest thing and the Post biggest uh, activity is going out to public schools, and we do two awards. We do the uh, rising. Uh, fifth graders who are going into sixth grade and the eighth grader or seventh eighth graders who are going into high school so they're they're rising from middle schools and elementary schools and uh, this is uh, they pick the two students in the um, the whole school that kind of exemplify loyalty and honor and integrity and all of those good citizenship uh, factors that uh, we want to promote and we've been doing this the legion has been doing this since 1926 so that's 92 years of making this award so it's it's pretty prestigious type award and it's really an honor to go out to the the schools and and make these presentations you kind of get to see the good part of the you know, the bad news that we see in the newspaper all the time about uh, violence and crime associated with teenagers um, and there there is an opposite side. There are some very great teenagers out there nowadays, and, and younger kids that um, are, are going to make a big change to uh, what what's going to happen in the future for us because they are the future. So that that's what I've been enjoying most. I've done four schools, I believe, and uh, Dr. Miley has done five or six schools uh, we do a total of 14 different schools so that's been one of our our biggest uh, activities lately until we have memorial day coming up so um one of the things i'd like to talk about is uh, post 27 is uh, 99 years old this year uh, we were founded in 1919 and we actually got our charter in 1920, uh, along with 35 or 36 other posts in the state. So we were one of the original uh, posts in Florida. And we, we've enjoyed a, a lot of successes over the years. But one of the big successes we've had lately is kind of... There's other organizations, the VFW, the AMVETS, and there's the Vietnam Veterans and several different organizations, but all of us are kind of suffering with the same problem with declining membership. And as the World War II veterans die off, the Korean War veterans are dying off, uh, I'm a Vietnam era veteran. And, um, you know, 75 years old, so... I think we're dying off, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're in the checkout generation. So we need new members, the Gulf War veterans and uh, that type, uh, to, to join with us. But one of the things we've done lately is to combine with other organizations like the VFW and the AMVETS, and we share a lot of our activities and one of the big activities that uh, we started it off with, and this is with the, uh, the VFW post on Northeast 36th Avenue, the big tank out 4209. front. 4209. 4209. Uh, great bunch of, bunch of people. And uh, they have allowed the American Legion to actually raise money at their post by doing taco nights every Monday night except for this coming Monday we're not doing it but 
throughout the summer, we're going to be doing it every Monday night where we serve tacos, nachos, um, what do we call them? Burritos. Burrito. Well, the, now they, oh, it's, it's kind of a wet burrito. It's got enchilada sauce all over it and just piled Making with me hungry, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good. They're really good. And filling. You, you can, um, uh, although we did have one guy eat a burrito and a taco the other night. Surprised heck out of me, but uh, he did it. Um, but anyway, we, we raised money by doing that. And it helps us because that's the money we use to fund Boy State and Girl State and the oratory contest and a lot of our veteran service uh, uh, programs. When you do that on a Monday, it's what, 4 to 7, isn't that correct? Yeah, we start at 4.30, actually, and we go till 7 unless we run out of food. And we've had some some pretty hefty nights uh, that, you know, they'll just wipe us out pretty early, you know, we have to. We're not a commercial restaurant. We don't have uh, reserve stuff we, we buy for that particular night, so everything's fresh. Now, if somebody's on the way home, they can just swing by and get takeout? They can get takeout. We, we're more than glad to do takeout. So uh, You and can't miss that tank if you've never been to 4209. No, no. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a place. And the, um, j- just the fact that we're having joint activities – uh, is the part that's kind of amazing. Uh, yeah, they, that's a good thing. Yeah, because a lot of people don't understand what's the difference between the VFW, the American Legion, and AMVETS, and so on. Um, the big difference is how they're chartered. VFW is a, a wartime organization like the American Legion, but you actually have to have boots on the ground in the war to um, to become a member. Uh, I'm a Vietnam-era veteran, never put a single foot. In fact, the closest I got to Vietnam was getting lost in Memphis one time, and I went into West Memphis, Arkansas, and that's as close as I got to Vietnam. Uh, they sent me to Italy instead, so I, uh, I, I did my part defending the, uh, the back of the people. Uh, so nobody invaded through Italy. The um, the VFW is a wartime organization where you have foot foot on the ground. American Legion is a wartime organization, but you don't have to have uh, foot in the ground and uh, on the ground in in the war country or wherever it is. So, uh, if you're in the era of that war, you're you eligible to be a member. AMVETS is slightly different. Uh, all you have to do is be a veteran. So. You know that they're open to to more people, and um, we all have our purpose. We all function pretty much the same way. Our our sole focus is helping veterans. So whichever way you want to go is great. Or like a lot of people, uh, I'm a member of both the the Legion and the VFW Auxiliary. They they allow men into their auxiliary, and I'm a member of AMVET. So we we cover all three. I think Chip is the same way. You're a member of all three organizations. Life he, member he, of all he, three. Uh, he's a life member of all three. Wow. So, and he actually had his feet on the ground and uh, to uh, actually be a real VFW guy. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, uh, we're doing a lot of things, uh, such as we're doing a uh, what we call a post everlasting ceremony on Memorial Day at 4209, the VFW post, and uh, basically that's going to be honoring the veterans from our various organizations, the VFW, American Legion, and the AMVETS who have died during the past year, and uh, you actually read their names and uh, their certificates, and each organization has a slightly different uh, service that they do, but basically that's it. We just uh, acknowledge those people that have passed away during the past year, and uh, we have like 10 I, or 12, I guess. Where are you going to be doing the poppies for Memorial Day? Well, starting today, we're going to be right here at the Paddock Mall. Uh, you can see uh, Dr. Miley will probably be here around 10 or 11 setting up. Uh, we have tomorrow we will be at Churchill Square also will be the Paddock Mall fr- uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, ch- uh, Churchill Square will be 
just Friday, I believe, and then we out in front of Earth Fair, right around the corner here, uh, we're having, I think they're doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday also. So uh, three, three different places. That Remember to bring your dollar bills and your $10 bills and your $20 bills. Um, I think one time we even got a $50 bill when somebody put in a box. Oh, yeah. And I was there, bring your, bring your bills, uh, you know, and, and stuff those boxes because, uh, you know, again, um, you know, what we make, you know, uh, goes uh, right right to the programs and stuff we have in these wonderful youth programs. Um, great organization we have, Brian. I oh, yeah. Think. Now, we've had a lot of success with our uh, program, especially for the youth. Uh, I, being a former teacher, and uh, I, I still work with kids. I, I work at the college, and um, uh, that, that's kind of my, uh, my good good thing is uh, to, to feel good about where the youth are heading nowadays. Two years ago, we had the uh, National Oratory Contest winner from Vanguard High School, uh, Gita Manucha. And, uh, what a bright child, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That She's, was awesome. Uh, just, just a great kid. She's already a junior at Wharton School of uh, Business up in uh, part of the University of Pennsylvania. We, uh, we meet the f- first Tuesday yes we do of every month uh, best to get there around quarter after six and usually um, you know come and you know uh, if you're not a member come and have dinner with us it's very family oriented you know bring your wife you know if you got kids we don't you know that's all welcome and um, you know it's a it's a great uh, family organization we have at post 27 and um, and we feel like family you know it's a oh yeah a little bit different maybe than some of the other ones yeah, well, some of us are a little dysfunctional, but the rest of us are, <laughs> are uh, pretty normal. But, you know, we're a good grassroots organization that believe in just plain old good American values. And, and you know, like Brian was saying with the young people, you know, there's a lot of great young people out there. And, um, you know, we've seen them, you know, at our oratorical contest and stuff like that. And, you know, when you come to the meetings, you'll get to see all that stuff, too. Well, we only got a minute, so again, uh, I just want to say, uh, Monday, get your tacos from us, uh, 4.30 to 7. Get them on the way home if you don't have time to stop in. Um, the first Tuesday, which is coming up shortly, uh, the first Tuesday, about 6.15, 6.30, be at the American Legion Hall right there in Tuscaloosa Park. Everybody knows where that is. Yeah. And also, I want to want to say that the uh, Fraternal Order of the Eagles is offering a one-year free membership to all veterans and first responders. So, um, you know, if if you need applications, we have them right over there at Vets Helping Vets, or you can stop off at one of your um, local uh, Fraternal Order of the Eagles. There's one in the forest, and there's one on 36th Avenue. But like I said, we have them right over there at Vets Helping Vets. So, I guess it's time to sign off, Larry. Yes, sir. For Hank Whittier, we just want to say, God bless America. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA. Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. Top members of Congress from both parties get classified briefings today about reports of an FBI informant speaking to